what we've tried to figure out is how is it that you really get the best out of people. And it's very different. Uh, for some folks, it's money. And for some folks, that's not what motivates them. And if you are using one strategy for everybody, you're going to reach some people, but there are going to be a lot of people that you really uh, don't see uh, sort of gravitate and make that big jump. So nowadays, uh, there are so many things coming uh, available online. Uh, that I found that even in reading three newspapers, uh, you get an awful lot of information uh, online of breaking news and events, and uh, I think that those are really critical. But I'll tell you this other issue. Uh, we happen to be connected with uh, different uh, institutes and others who are really pushing the envelope around research. And so uh, I have a team of folk who literally scour uh, all of the latest breaking research and uh, prepare uh, information so that I can uh, stay very current. Uh, and it's in uh, the hard sciences, biology, and in the social sciences, and it's in the areas of nutrition and health, all areas that we care about. Uh, so it's more uh, than just myself. I have people who are actually uh, digesting information and making sure that it's consumable by me and the other senior members as we're trying to figure out how we blend all of these components to keep propelling our work forward. We are building a uh, school uh, right in the middle of one of the uh, largest and most notorious housing projects uh, in Harlem. We've struggled with what to do uh, with housing projects all over America, and we've torn them down, and we've built smaller ones. We try, and things simply haven't worked. We think give those kids great education, uh, give the community access to the best in technology and uh, nutrition and uh, education, and you can create a totally different culture inside that uh, complex. So we're in the, the heart of doing this right now. We hope the school will be open this time next year. I really believe uh, that this, these times call for innovative thinking. People are so nervous about coming up with something that someone else might consider to be uh, unorthodox, that mostly you get a lot of people trying to say the same thing in more sophisticated ways because they feel like it's impressive. And I think we need a group of folk who are prepared to sort of get off the beaten path uh, and to think about some of these ideas more radically, knowing that a lot of the Ideas you come up with, you know, they're probably not going to be, they're probably not going to work, they're not going to be realistic. I know if we keep doing what hasn't worked, uh, thinking that somehow, you know, changing it a little here or there is going to make a difference, we're simply not going to get the kind of innovation in this country that I think we need. I think in the businesses that we're in, we need a kind of forced innovation that you see in technology. Anyone who thinks the current, whatever it is, is going to be that same thing three years from now, has no idea how quickly people have decided you must innovate. Uh, I think that's happening in some sectors, and in some sectors I just don't think we have had a lot of innovative thinking. We need to get that going in America.